We want to solve the system of equations using the addition method. That means I want opposite coefficients in front of either x or y. If I choose to get rid of x, I'm going to multiply my top equation by 3 so that the coefficient in front of x will be a 9. So 3 times 3 is 9x. 3 times negative 2y is negative 6y equals 3 times 2, which is 6. So that will be my new first equation. Now I can see that the x's do drop out. The 9 and negative 9 do cancel each other out. Negative 6 plus 6 is also 0. So not only do we have 0x, but we also have 0y. And then equals 6 plus negative 6 is also 0. Well, 0 always equals 0. What that means is these two equations are always true, no matter which values you choose for x and y. They will always be satisfied. What that means is that there are infinitely many solutions. Now, I should rephrase that and say that it doesn't mean every single value of x and y is a solution, but that any value that's a solution to one of the equations, any ordered pair that satisfies one of the equations, will also satisfy the other equation because these are two different um, ways of expressing the same line or two different equations that represent the same line. 